trolley service is on track to return to St. Louis this summer. In a matter of weeks, if not days, electric power tests will be conducted on the system. Jim Kircher paid a visit to see where the project stands thus far. I'm Jim Kircher, and this is the Loop Trolley headquarters. There are some offices over there, but they just look like offices. This is what we came to see because, well, this doesn't look like anything else in town. The project isn't just about promotional banners and artist conceptions anymore, about plans and proposals. It's now about real streetcars. They're here, two of them are ready to go, and they're housed and maintained in this building on Delmar. So this is it, Joe. It's getting pretty close. It really is. It's really meaningful to have these first two cars here, because with two, it's a whole fleet. Right, right. Pretty soon we'll have a third. While a lot Here's of people thought this car. was really a crazy Over idea, there, so they would often add, but if anybody can do it, Joe Edwards can. See it on the rails, even though yeah. it wasn't Edwards, of course, started out running the University City Bar he called Blueberry Hill. But his developments would later include the Tivoli Theater and moved east on Delmar into the city with the Pageant and Moonrise Hotel. And at some point, he decided what was needed was a blast from the past, bringing back to Delmar something that hadn't been seen in the city since 1966, streetcars. How many years, when did you first think of this idea and say, let's set out to do this? The first year I came up with this and started working on it was 1997. So it'll be 20 years uh, when it's, it's up and running. This first test of car 001 started on an early Sunday morning in March. Everybody was real excited to actually see it on the rails, even though yeah. it wasn't under its own power. When or were you excited happen. to see it on the rails? I was very excited. That, that, <laughs> that made it a real project just to, to see it come along those tracks. Wow. The power wasn't on, it was being pulled along the full 2.2 mile route just to check for proper clearances at the stops. This by the way is a replica of a 1903 streetcar. It used to run in Portland, Oregon and there will be two of these. Another longer car, an authentic 1920s model from Melbourne, Australia is still being refurbished. There's something great about the fixed track nature of this project because the economic investment that's occurred already because of the trolley coming in is very meaningful. There's going to be more activity east on Del Mar, east of the Bolivar. Uh, it's, it's amazing what's happening. Still some doubters, though, about what this is going to do. Sure, people will always have questions, and once they see it up and running, they'll be answered, I think. The trolley line is going to have to be more than just transportation because the 2.2 mile routes already served by buses and Metrolink. This is going to have to be an attraction to people and to business. That's why the executive director of the nonprofit Loop Trolley Company, Kevin Barbo, doesn't come with a mass transit background, but with experience in neighborhood and business development in St. Louis and Chicago. I'll be doing a lot of uh, event planning, programming, partnership building, things of that nature. But you've got something to prove, don't you? We definitely do, yeah. Uh, the 2.2 miles that we have right now uh, is our main focus. We want to make sure that experience is safe and pleasurable for everyone who's either seeing it go by or stepping on and taking a ride. The Loop Trolley, no longer just a vision and no longer a construction project. Now, it's a business. Trolley Company president is Les Sturman, who used to head the East-West Gateway Regional Planning Organization. But now you got to run this mm -hmm. as a business, right? Right. Um, so where does the money come from? How do you how do you stay afloat uh, uh, when you're running a nonprofit trolley company? It's a it's a good question. It's one that uh, has caused us to lose more than a few nights sleep uh, over the last couple of years. But we actually have some pretty robust financing sources. The uh, there's a local taxing district that runs along Del Mar and De Bolivar that will collect uh, a sales tax, and that generates about eight hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, we'll also be collecting fares from uh, customers. What are the fares going to be, you know? Uh, we're still debating that. Obviously, we want to give everybody the opportunity uh, to ride, so we don't want to make them uh, 
uh, too expensive, but at the same time, we have to support a budget to actually operate the system. Advertising signs yeah. in here? Yeah, those are uh, all spaces for advertising, much the same as they've traditionally been on yeah. trolleys like this and in the exterior of the car as well. Loop Trolley's going to have to prove itself in a lot of ways, but if it works, they envision a vibrant business district and the route extended someday, perhaps serving forest park attractions or other lines going other places.